Hello everyone and welcome to my World Cup 2022 predictions. In this video I'll be using the EA Sports predictor and you know going through the group stages through to the knockouts and who I think is going to win the World Cup. So let's start off with who have EA predicted is going to win the World Cup. So as you can see on the screen EA Sports have predicted that Argentina are going to win the World Cup. They've got Brazil in second place, Argentina in first and France in third and they've got Lionel Messi winning the golden boot with eight goals Memphis Depay has six goals and Mbappe with six as well so that's EA Sports prediction and then they've gone the golden glove to be four-way tie between Rui Patrizio, Alisson, Livakovic and Emi Martinez and that is their team of the tournament here so that's all of EA Sports predictions let's get into mine right now but if you guys are interested in doing the ea sports predictor then it is on the ea sports website or you can find the link on their twitter you also get rewarded with a couple uh three limited time fifa world cup players it says here um if you log into your ea account and submit the predictions so i've logged into my account and let's do the predictions right now so we're going to go group by group a b c d etc so we'll start off with group a We've got Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal and the Netherlands. So for me, I think Holland are going to win the group. Netherlands, whatever you want to call them. And I think runner-up in that group will be Senegal. So I think Qatar and Ecuador will be eliminated. For me, that's quite straightforward. I think Senegal were quite strong. You know, they've got Sadio Mane, Koulibaly, uh, Mendy. You know, they've got some good players in their ranks. And Holland are, are always a decent side. So Group B, we've got My Nation, England, uh, in the group with Iran, USA and Wales. Now, if England don't win this group, that's poor. Let's be honest here. We should be winning this group with no qualms about it. So second place, I think is interesting. So it's between USA and Wales for me. Now, Wales have the bail factor, but of course, well, Bale is getting older, um, but he is playing in the MLS. He obviously won the... Uh, MLS Cup the other day or like last week so you know and he scored the equaliser so he's, he's still on it but do I think Wales are going to go through ahead of USA is it, I think it's tough I think USA have got a, a few young players coming up decent players I'm going to go with I'm going to go USA USA are going to come second um, I don't, it's very tight I think Wales could easily come second as well but I think for me England should be topping that group easy enough so on to Group C now. We have Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico and Poland. Now Argentina straight away should win that group. And then second for me is between Mexico and Poland. But I think I think the Lewandowski factor is going to kick in. And I think Poland are going to get second in that group. But Mexico are no bad side by any means. And they'll give them a run for their money. So on to Group D now. We have France, Denmark, Tunisia and Australia. Now for me, this is a straightforward group. I think France are going to win it. And I think Denmark are going to come second. And uh, yeah, not much needs to be said really. Not discounting Tunisia or Australia. But I think Denmark are quite a good side. And uh, France obviously I think are one of the favourites. So on to Group E now. And we have Spain, Germany, Japan and Costa Rica. Now again, I think this is a relatively straightforward group to predict. Um, well, these are the top two anyways. It's a mix and match, whoever you want to choose. But uh, so I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Germany to top the group, and I'm going to go Spain in second place. It's a toss up, um, but I think Germany they've got experience on their ranks. Um, of course, Spain do as well. But you know they've got players as well like Sane. Nabry, I think they've got a, a decent side. Kimmich, I mean, they've got some ballers in there. Spain, of course, they play nice football. They've got some good youth as well. Pedri, Gavi, if he's been taken, I'm not sure. I haven't seen the uh, squad yet, but yeah. I th I'm going to go with Germany to edge out Spain. So now on to Group F. We've got Belgium, Canada, Morocco and Croatia. Now we're going to go Belgium to top the group. Can this be the year that they turn up in an international tournament? Probably not for me, but um, you know they're usually one of the higher ranked nations in the world, but they don't seem to do it on the big stage for me. I think they did come third, I think it was last World Cup or something like that. Um, but 
yeah, they, they just can't seem to get into a final and get the job done. So second place for me is going to be, I'm going to go Croatia. I think the experience of Croatia will get the job done. Yeah, I'm going to go Belgium to edge out Croatia. Now on to Group G, we have Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland and Cameroon. Now Brazil going to win the group. Uh, I have no doubts about that really. And then in second place, Serbia and Switzerland is tough to, to split. Um, Serbia do have some good players. Milinkovic, Savic, uh, Vlahovic, Kostic. But for me, I might edge, I might go Switzerland here. Um, they've done very well in the Euros. I think they have a togetherness about them. The way they played when they knocked out France was amazing. Um, you know, Xhaka has been in excellent form this year. It is very tough. It is tough. Um, but I'm going to say, I'm going to go Switzerland. I, I just think there's something about Switzerland that uh, does well. So now the final group, we have Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay and Korea Republic. Now, Portugal for me should win that group. Um, you know, they've got an excellent side. Of course, they got Ronaldo, um, Joao Felix, Bruno Fernandes, Bernardo Silva. Just endless players, so we'll go with them to win the group. And then second, I think it's got to be Uruguay. Um, they've got a lot of experience, some great attacking players, and uh, yeah, I think I think they should get the job done. But we all do remember Ghana's amazing World Cup run. But to be fair, that was ended by Uruguay when Suarez used his arm. But we're going to go with Uruguay to go through. So that is the summary of my groups. We've got Netherlands to beat the Senegal. We've got England to win the group ahead of USA, Argentina and Poland top two, France, Denmark, Germany, Spain, Belgium, Croatia, Brazil, Switzerland and Portugal and Uruguay. So what do you guys think? Um, would you change anything? Have I made any mistakes? Am I an idiot? But let's move on now to the round of 16. So here we have the matchups. So we've got Netherlands and the USA. So for me, Netherlands will win against the USA. Then the second matchup, we have Argentina and Denmark. Now, this is a tough match. Don't discredit the Denmark here. Um, they're very solid defensively and uh, they do have some good players in their team. But I think Messi's going to be desperate for that World Cup, isn't he? I think he's going to come in and he's going to perform. So I'm going to back Argentina to beat Denmark in this matchup. Then we have England versus Senegal. Now, for me, I think England should win this match. Um, of course, like I said before, Senegal do have some good players. But England, as a whole, I think have a much stronger squad. And they should get the job done. Then we have France versus Poland. Now, for me, France should just beat these. Much better start in 11. Poland do have some X-Factor players, but France's whole squad is basically an X-Factor team. So they should get the job done for me. So then we have Germany versus Croatia. Now I think the Germans will get the job done. Uh, Croatia, they done well in the last World Cup. They got to the final, didn't they? But I think, of course, a lot of their players have now aged further. So I think the Germans are going to take this. Then we have Brazil and Uruguay, the battle of the South Americans. I think Brazil will get the job done. Then we have a juicy matchup here in Belgium and Spain. Now, if this is the matchup in the round of 16, that's a tough one early doors. But I think I think the Bel I think Belgium will have enough to get the job done there. And I think Spain will have an early exit. And then we have Portugal, Switzerland. Now, like I said before, you can't rule out the Swiss, um, especially after how well they did in the Euro 2021 slash 20. Um, but Again, this is going to be Ronaldo's last World Cup, isn't it? So I think he's going to be desperate for it. They've got the quality. They should get the job done. So there you have it. That's my round of 16. I've got Netherlands beating USA. I've got Argentina beating Denmark. England to go through versus Senegal. France to beat Poland. Germany to beat Croatia. Brazil to beat Uruguay. Belgium to beat Spain. And Portugal to beat Switzerland. Again, have I made any mistakes? What do you guys think? On to the quarterfinals now, and here is where the matchups become juicy. So we have Netherlands versus Argentina. Tough matchup, but I think Argentina have a stronger squad. Messi, you know, you've got Lisandro Martins. There's just a lot of players in that Argentina squad that are quality. And that's not to say that the Dutch squad isn't. 
but they are going to be missing a few players. I believe Vinalgum is still out, and he's like a, a key component to that squad. But they do have still have Depay, Van Dijk, De Jong, so they do have quality in their ranks. But Messi is for me the best player of all time, and the way he's performing this year, he's one of the best players in the world. So I think. With the form he's currently in, I think he's going to try and carry Argentina all the way. We have Germany versus Brazil. Now, Brazil are not going to want to repeat of what happened in one of the prior World Cups, the 7-1. We all know about it, but I don't think it's going to be. I think Brazil are going to be too strong for Germany this World Cup. And I think Brazil are going to get the job done. Then we have England, France. Now, it's painful for me, but I think France here are going to beat us. Um... I'd love to say that England are going to go all the way and win it, but I just, can I see us beating France? No. I mean, France were not great in that Euro 2022, uh, sorry, 2021, and England did go all the way to the final, but that was favourable matchups. Yeah, I don't know. Under Southgate, for me, I don't think we're good enough. We have a lot of quality players, and on our day, we could beat France, you know? I think Southgate is going to set us up defensively and maybe try to look on the break. But I think France with Mbappe, Benzema, I think they're going to be too strong, unfortunately. It's, I think it'll be a close match, but France may get the job done over us. Then we have Belgium and Portugal. Now, I believe this was a match in Euro 2021, and I believe Belgium came out on top. So Portugal are not going to want a repeat of that. But I'm not sure. I, this is a tough one for me. Lukaku is currently injured, isn't he? I know he came back, but then he got injured again. I'm not. If he's gonna, if he's gonna make the World Cup, that makes him, of course, stronger. De Bruyne is on absolutely amazing form right now. I mean, Hazard. Is he gonna go to the World Cup? I'm not sure, but of course, he's a, he's not exactly the same player. I know Belgium beat them in Euro 2021, only a year ago, but I'm gonna favour the the Portuguese here. Um, I'm going to go Portugal to beat Belgium. So my final four will be Argentina, Brazil, France and Portugal. So let's get on to the semi-finals matchups. So now we have the South Americans playing off and the Europeans playing off. So we have Argentina, Brazil, France, Portugal. Now Argentina did beat Brazil in the Copa America. Um, but that was a very scrappy game. Wasn't much quality in there. Neymar was a shining light in that match for Brazil, but he couldn't just get them over the line. It is very tough. It's, it's very tough to do this. I think Brazil have more quality in their ranks. I do. You know, Argentina, of course, got Messi. Brazil have their star man as well in Neymar. Neymar is in scintillating form this year. You know, Martinelli's on good form. Thiago Silva's been all right for Chelsea. Marquinhos. Alisson or Edison, you know, they've got Casemiro, the world's best centre defensive midfield, defensive midfielder in my opinion, has been brilliant for Manchester United, Fred is usually quality for United, uh, sorry not United, he's not quality for United, he's quality for Brazil, Vinicius Junior, Rodrigo, I'm going to back Brazil to beat Argentina here, and then I think France are going to get their job done versus Portugal, yeah, I, I think it's going to be heartbreak for Messi and Ronaldo, I, I don't know if they're going to get the job done this year. Um, they, they have chances, don't get me wrong, but for me, I think France are going to be too strong for Portugal. They've got a lot more youth in their side, a lot of quality. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to back France here. So I've got Brazil and France moving on into the final, uh, but first off, we'll do the third place playoff. And I'll tell you what, I, that would be a lovely matchup, wouldn't it? Um, of course, a lot of people want to see that in the final. Uh, Ronaldo versus Messi, that would be insane, wouldn't it? Their final World Cups, and they play each other in the final. The two arguable greatest players of all time playing off in their final international World Cup. If they did that in the third place as well, that would be cool to see. But I think, mate, that would be that would be a really cool matchup. But I, I'm going to go with, I, I favour Argentina here in this matchup. I do like Portugal, I, I like what they have, but for me, I'm going to go Argentina. And then... We have the final of the World Cup, Brazil versus France, two absolute giants, two, two nations with world, world-class teams, world-class players, it's a final for the ages, who comes out on top? Um, if I'm going of Euro 2021, I'm favouring Brazil. Yeah, 
I think I'm going to go Brazil here. Now, maybe a bit biased. I do have a, a side with Brazil here, but yeah, I think I think Neymar. This could potentially be his final World Cup, you know, and he's not he's not been in better form for a World Cup. So he comes into this wanting it. Vinny, well, is a quality player as well. Marquinhos, excellent centre back. You know, the, the the team's just very very good, and I think this is a better chance than they'll have for a while to win this World Cup. France course Mbappe one of the world's best I think they're going to be missing Pogba I think he's out um, which is of course a miss for them because he usually does turn up for France yeah for me I'm going to go Brazil to beat France and win the World Cup so what do you guys think those are my predictions you know please feel free to leave who you think is going to win the World Cup in the comment section down below I look forward to reading your comments and uh, yeah so thank you guys so much for watching this video I'll be sure to check back on this video after the World Cup has finished to see how my predictions held up. Do, do I look like an absolute donkey or have I got it spot on? Probably won't get it spot on, but uh, I'm looking forward to the World Cup. It's not the same hype as it would be if it's in the summer, but nonetheless, it's still the World Cup. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please feel free to drop a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time. Cheers, guys.